to get one on at a time. Yeah. Just one che wheelchair per chute. Yeah, that's it. Look like nice buses anyway. Next one will come up, we'll be grabbing that one. Priority boarding. We'll grab onto the line. I'm going to have you just hold on to the back of the bus when we're driving. Huh? Sometimes I just won't beat you. All right. All right. <laughs> well, they got you all secured in your chutes here. Yeah. Chopped up, right, phone and everything. Well, here comes the horde. I better grab my seat. We got a good, uh, good viewing. Yeah. This is one to my right. I'm your designated pusher. Bus, bus driver smiling today. We're going to be taking off here in a minute. driver and guide for the next 35 to 40 minutes. So before we take off, I want to make sure everybody can hear me okay. Up top, if you can hear me, let me see a wave to that camera up at the front of the bus. Perfect. Down below, wave your arms around like crazy monkeys. <laughs> awesome. All right, one last question before we go. Who's ready to go see the world famous San Diego Zoo? I'm loving you right now. On our tour, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we're more than just a zoo here. We're also a wildlife rescue, a botanical garden, a breeding facility for rare and endangered species. Also, a uh, point out some areas that you do have to go see on foot. Hopefully, help you orient yourself a little bit and figure out where you want to go and what you want to do after our tour. So first up, coming up on the right-hand side, the little yellow sign looks like a street sign. It says Treetops Way. That will take you down into the lost forest. That's where you can find our great apes like the orangutans, bonobos, gorillas. You can also connect the Tiger Trail, Monkey Trails, and Albert's Restaurant over there. If you go right after our tour and you make it before 1 o'clock, you might have a chance to see the baby orangutan, Aisha. She's out with mom usually until just about 1 o'clock. We love our plants here at the zoo. We have over 6,000 different species of plants here. Many of them are rare or endangered. And this area here is designed to replicate a tropical rainforest and to feel like home for our tropical rainforest animals. So that's one way that we promote natural species behavior here at the zoo. Another way that we do that is through the use of enrichment items. So let's get a peek into the Malayan tiger exhibit here. Now Connor, our tiger, he has the run of the whole area. So the best place to see him at any point today is going to be from Tiger Trail, where you see the people walking. There are otters in this exhibit as well. And we found some of these monkeys when they were babies. They were in markets for sale. They were going to be sold either as pets or meat. Or a big wooden walkway. It comes to some enormous birds of prey. That is eagle trail. Yeah, you can sometimes see them from the bus here. But Indian condors live up on that Bridge. And those are some truly enormous birds. Yeah. Indian condors so big, if we have one in the bus with us and it spread its wings out, they can reach up to one foot. I love this weather. I don't know about you guys, but this is perfect, perfect animal viewing weather. Here, here. So, hang out here for a little bit. Woo, the ball I'm going to take a picture of you. We do have three here. They're all rescued. Two females and one male. And there's one all the way across the right. See on the log over there. Looks like they just have some breakfast put out for them. Does anybody know what polar bears are in the wild? Take a picture. Fish? Fish? Yeah. And seal. Seal. Oh. Another difference between a big cat, like a lion and a tiger, and a small cat. Well, big cats like lions roar, and small cats like the mountain lions right there, well, they purr just like your house cat. Well, on the right hand side, just above that sign, that tree you see, looks kind of interesting. It's called a ginkgo biloba tree. We use that for something, but I can't remember what. 
Just kidding. It's a memory enhancer. And that sign up before this handsome boy, well, he gets the whole next yard to himself. But looks like the keepers are getting it ready for him right now. He's anxiously awaiting getting back over there for breakfast, I'm sure. So he's our one male. And you might know that elephants live in matriarchs only nearly become extinct in the last hundred years or so. Looks like this one might give us a shot of how big its wings are. Wow. That wingspan can be in excess of eight feet. That's about the width of our bus here. So in the early 1980s, there was only 22 California condors left in the whole world. That is less condors than we have people just on the lower level of our bus here. And we've been working really hard with the California condor recovery program. We brought those remaining 22 birds into a more stable environment up at the safari park. And, uh, yeah, and we have had such great success. We're so happy. We've had over 182 chicks.